good weekend. This is Reverend Greg. As you can see, I'm in my weekend shirt. So here we go. Uh, we have uh, CLC 203 due on Monday. So when you go to your class, CLC 2, you'll see on the count. Wow, that's huge. Look how big I am. That's like way too big. Let's see if I can make it a little smaller. Um, well, I still can't. That's terrible. I'm going to work on that. So here we go. You have CLC 203. And here, oh, I think I made it better. And here we are, CLC 203. You click on the calendar, which you should have your calendar on your phones. That's a big thing. Know exactly what's due. In Triclinio 25, 1 through 7, write quiz forms times 2, fun owned games. All right, so we have the next day of the quizam because our exam coming up is going to be on Thursday. And uh, be aware, we are always preparing for that weekly exam. So here's CLC 203. We have this thing called Fun und Games. Now, how do we do that? Well, first off, I gave out uh, the day after the test. We went through the error analysis. But if you weren't there, you still print it up from the bottom. So here's the bottom. It says error analysis, E-A-N-L-E, -E, Electronic National Latin Exam, Chapter 1, Zola Arnim. So look at your results, and you put a highlight through every question you got right, and you put a check or a box or scratch out every question you got wrong. So we'll have in this grid a series of lights and darks. From that grid, you can see which standards or which hero you're having trouble with. So what I expect you on Monday when you come to the door, you're going to have your binder, your error analysis binder open, and it's going to say clearly in bold on highlight which ones you needed, and it's two minutes per standard So on these games. So if you miss three questions on history, you're going to take the wizard if that game exists there. Or daredevil, if you miss two questions, you're going to take it for four minutes. So I'm going to see that because I'm going to have a track of your time. So when we take it, you're going to be playing the games. And you'll log in, and there are the games. Now, some games don't have, uh, some standards don't have games at this stage. Those will be worked on eventually, but you're just responsible for what you're responsible for. Now it says also, so therefore that'll be the preparation because that gives you focus on the areas you're having trouble with. And everyone has troubles. Don't freak out that you have troubles. So we have in triclinio pages 25, one, lines 1 through 7. And that, of course, is found at the bottom. And a little word about trans. Translation, try your best at translation, do your best, and we'll review it. But I only want lines 1 through 7 on page 25. And here's page 25 right here. And the words you don't know are right here. Now, when you turn in that translation, so therefore page 25, lines 1 through 7, when you turn in that translation, I expect it to be something that when I take it away, you know what intrat means. You know what weenum means. You know what optimus means. I'm not asking for a lot of lines. I'm asking for lines one through seven. So make sure you do that. Review it beforehand so you're able to translate. And then lines eight through 14, we're going to do in class. So therefore, any words you don't know, are at the bottom here, generally speaking, and then we have to add to our vocabulary. All right, so what you should also do this weekend if you have time, and you probably have time, is to write out every question you got wrong on the test. So in other words, if you get this question wrong, number 33, you would write out 33, you would write out the question because I gave you the tests back. You would write out the answer choices, and you would highlight only the right answer. Well, how do you know which one's the right answer? You work together. You find that time to work together to make sure you know what the right answer is. And then you importantly write 
the standard. Not the hero, but the standard. The reason, and then uh, you're going to be turning that in when you take your test on, what day is our test again? Thursday, I think. When you take your test on Thursday, you're going to be turning that, oh no, yes, it is Thursday. You're going to turn that in. That I see that you've looked at your last test. You have written down the questions you don't know. You figured out what the question's asking. That's the standard. And you've done the right answer. You've highlighted that. And if you want to show it early before, uh, during office hours uh, on Thursday and everything's right, you could get a three out of one. Remember, there's always extra credit built in for students who are working the hardest. So therefore, let's do those things that we need to. Robocalls will be coming out Saturday for those students who were woefully behind. And uh, we may run a detention on Monday from 325 to 4 if your parents and I decide it's the best idea to make sure that you don't get too far behind. So therefore, prep for the nouns because that's going to be a big part of it. And uh, prep for uh, translation. All right. Soon we won't have any quick start videos because every chapter is the same. You're very good. Uh, if there's any questions, give me a call on uh, Saturday afternoon. And until then, aloha. Look at that beard. Soon the gold will be Santa Claus by Christmas.